guys. I just found this stormwater drain on the side of the road. <clears throat> so I'm gonna chuck a trap in here and I'm actually gonna let this soak for an hour. So, um, Chunky's actually pretty hungry these days. So definitely need to catch him some food today. So, um, looks like there's some things in here, but we'll just have to wait and see. There's a lot of tadpoles in here, probably more than likely are gonna be cane toad tadpoles, but yeah, I just have to put the trap in and roll the dice and see what we get. There's definitely some stuff on the surface of the water though, fish. So I'm gonna chuck this guy in. I'm just gonna put it down and wait an hour or so, and we'll come back. But today guys, yeah, whatever we get, hopefully something that's not a mosquito fish, um, it's gonna be feeding Chunky Boy. All right guys, I just let this trap soak for like 40 minutes and there's a few things around it still. So I'm like really interested to see what we got. I'm, I'm gonna get down there and see what's going on. So, No way, guys. No way. What? What? Look at that. In there. In this little puddle, guys. We are coming back here. We're marking this spot. We're still in Rock Lee, as per the series. But we're marking this spot, and we're coming back here, and we're going to get some more out. Look at this. Sword tails galore. Oh my god, guys. This is the first spot that's been a huge hit on the radar for invasive species. Wow. Uh, I'm gonna get some of these in the bucket. This is gonna be good food for Chunky. He's gonna absolutely love this. So we'll stay tuned for the end of the video for that one. But can't believe, like look at the size of some of these. Look at the size of them. These are some fat sword tails, guys. There's just so many. Variable platy there, always cool to see. All right, guys. We got close to 200 in here. That is absolutely insane. I mean, look at this. This is a little puddle and it's, it's not even really flowing this creek. So anyone that wants to do better for the environment and you live near Rock Lee or a surrounding area, Logan, Gold Coast, Brisbane, um, you want to help the environment, This I'm going to mark this creek. I'm going to put it in the description for you guys. This is a spot here. Come get as many as you can out of here. All right, let's see if we can get his attention. We've got some good fish today, you know, so some big mummers. Oh no, that slipped out of my hand. <laughs> oh well, I think we got that on camera. I hope we did. Well, I can't get him to go up this side of the tank, so. We're gonna have to stick to the same scenery. All right, let's see. Oh man, I don't usually wear the microphone, so I don't know how much the microphone picked up at that sound, but it's loud when he hits the surface. It's cool. Right, let's get him.
There you go. Let's check that reaction time. Whoop. I thought he'd be quicker. I thought he'd hit it before it even touched the water. Here we go. Chop it right and boom. He's hungry today. He looks super hungry. Chuck a couple in it, see how quick he can get rid of them. Ooh, blind. I think he's full. There's a couple of them swimming around in there. Well, I think he's pretty much done for the day. I did measure this guy the other day. I should measure him in a video. I, he's about 22 centimeters at the moment. So he's getting up there. It looks good too. Looks nice and healthy, big. I'm really happy with his growth and look, Oh man, six foot tank. I just got to build a stand for it now. I've got all the wood up there ready to go. I just got to put it together. But yeah, that's where he's going to be heading. I'm really excited about that. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. Um, I know it was only a short video today, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more.